The dark sky of XK-27 was dominated by a red dust storm, which whipped the planet's surface with violent winds. Through this curtain of chaos, the Starship Valiant struggled to maintain control, its damaged engines emitting an agonized hum. Inside the cockpit, Captain James Hawkins clung to the panel, his narrow eyes focused on the fight for survival. His firm voice echoed through the speakers. Remain calm, crew. We are entering a crash landing. Brace for impact. The Valiant shook violently, its energy shields failing under the pressure. Hawkins gritted his teeth, his decades of experience in space missions being put to the test at that moment. With a deafening crash, the Valiant hit the ground, kicking up a cloud of red dust. Hawkins and his team slowly stood up, checking to make sure everyone was unharmed. Damage reports, now, Hawkins ordered. A human officer approached, his face etched with tension. Sir, the main engines are unusable. We have lost most of the propulsion system. Life support systems are functioning, but with limited power. Hawkins nodded, his mind working quickly to assess the situation. What about the alien passengers? Did they survive? Another officer, this time an alien observer with glowing eyes, responded, Yes, Captain. All members of the Galactic Council delegation are safe, although some have suffered minor injuries. Hawkins let out a sigh of relief. He knew that the safety of those observers was crucial to maintaining diplomatic relations with the Council. After ensuring the crew and passengers were safe, Hawkins and his team began exploring the harsh environment of Planet XK-27. The surface was covered in dark rocks and deep fissures, and the red sky seemed to suck in all the light. An alien observer, Zara, approached Hawkins, her expression wary. Captain Hawkins, this planet appears to be extremely dangerous. Our sensors detect toxic levels of gases in the atmosphere and constant seismic activity. I don't understand how any life form can survive here. Hawkins nodded, his eyes scanning the inhospitable terrain. You're right, Zara. But we can't just sit here. We need to find a safe place to set up camp and assess the damage to the ship. Only then can we decide our next steps. Zara hesitated for a moment, but then reluctantly agreed. Very well, Captain. I will inform my fellow observers of your decision. As Zara walked away, Hawkins watched the team move cautiously across the rough terrain. He knew they would face tremendous challenges on that hostile planet but his determination did not waver. After hours of exploration, Hawkins' team found a series of ancient structures scattered across the surface. They looked like they were built by an advanced civilization, but they had long been in ruins. One of the officers, Lieutenant Sato, approached Hawkins, his eyes shining with fascination. Captain, you need to see this. These structures appear to have been built by an advanced species long before any known record of human activity in this region of space. Hawkins examined the ruins carefully, his mind working quickly. So that means this planet was inhabited in the past. But what happened to this civilization, and why are there no records of its existence? Zara, who had joined them, tilted her head, her eyes shining with curiosity. Captain, this discovery is extremely intriguing. Our records do not mention any advanced civilizations in this part of the galaxy. Perhaps these ruins contain valuable information about the history of this planet and its ancient inhabitants. Hawkins nodded, his determination growing. So this is what we're going to find out. Organize a team to explore these structures. We need to understand what happened here. Sato and Zara agreed, and soon a team of humans and alien observers gathered to investigate the mysterious ruins. As the team explored one of the larger structures, Hawkins noticed a control panel partially buried in the ground. He moved closer, his fingers gliding over the alien symbols. It appears this control panel is still working. Perhaps we can activate it and discover more about this ancient civilization. He pressed a few buttons, and suddenly a deep hum echoed through the structure. The ground began to shake, and a secret entrance opened in the center of the building. Sato approached his face marked with concern. Captain, what did you do? Hawkins raised a hand, his eyes narrowed as he watched the revealed entrance. I'm not sure, Lieutenant, but it looks like we've just discovered something very important. Get ready, let's go in and see what else this planet has to reveal to us. With a determined look, 
Hawkins led his team towards the entrance, disappearing into the shadows of the underground complex. Suspense hung in the air as the team ventured into the unknown. Following the discovery of the secret entrance at the end of Act One, Hawkins and his team returned to the site of the Valiant's crash landing. With a damage to the ship, they needed to establish a temporary camp to ensure the safety of the crew and alien passengers. Janna, Hawkins' second in command, coordinated activities efficiently. She approached the captain, her face marked with determination. Captain, basic repairs are complete. We were able to set up shelters and establish an air filtration system to deal with the toxic atmosphere. We were also able to recover some supplies from the Valiant. Hawkins nodded, his eyes scanning the makeshift camp. Good work, Jana. We need to make sure everyone is safe and comfortable here, at least until we can assess the damage to the ship and decide our next steps. Jana. Understood, Captain. I've already assigned teams to monitor the life support systems and organize surveillance shifts. We've also set aside a team to explore the ruins we discovered earlier. Hawkins frowned thoughtfully. Yes, the ruins. That discovery intrigues me. I want you to personally handle this expedition, Jana. We need to understand what happened on this planet in the past. Jana nodded, her expression determined. I'll do the best I can, Captain. I'll take a mixed team of humans and alien observers to explore the ruins as quickly as possible. Hawkins placed a hand on Jana's shoulder, his eyes shining with confidence. I trust you, Jana. Keep me posted on any discoveries. Jana smiled slightly and walked away to organize the expedition to the ruins. Hawkins watched her with pride, knowing that his second in command was the right person to lead this crucial mission. Jana's team approached the ancient structures, their sensors scanning the environment for clues. Zara, the alien observer, followed the group, her eyes shining with curiosity. These ruins are fascinating. I've never seen anything like them in my entire career. They look like they were built by an extremely advanced civilization. Janna nodded, her fingers gliding over the alien symbols etched into the walls. Yes, and look at this. There's evidence of recent human activity here. Footprints and food wrappers. She bent down, examining the remains carefully. That means there could be other survivors on this planet. We need to find them as quickly as possible. Zara tilted her head, her expression thoughtful. I agree, Commander Janna. This discovery is very intriguing. Perhaps these ruins contain information that could help us understand what happened here. Janna stood up, her eyes determined. Then let's explore further. Divide the team into smaller groups and search every nook and cranny of these structures. We need to find any clue that could lead us to these other survivors. The team dispersed each group heading in a different direction. Jana watched them carefully, her mind working quickly to plan her next steps. After hours of exploration, one of the groups reported a significant discovery. Jana and Zara hurried towards their location, their hearts racing. Commander Jana, we found something very interesting. Deep within the ruins, there is a sealed door with inscriptions that we were unable to decipher. Jana approached, her fingers gliding over the surface of the door. Fascinating. It seems this door was built to be opened only by those who know the symbols. We need to find out what's on the other side. Zara leaned over to examine the inscriptions, her eyes shining with concentration. I'll try to analyze these symbols. Maybe we can find a way to open this door and reveal what's hidden here. Suddenly, a strange sound echoed from the other side of the door, making everyone startle. Jana raised a hand, her eyes narrowed. Stay alert. It looks like we're not alone here. Prepare yourselves for whatever's on the other side. Suspense hung in the air as the team positioned themselves, ready to face whatever was waiting for them behind that sealed door. Back at the makeshift camp, Jana found Hawkins reviewing the life support systems. She approached, her face marked with tension. Captain, we have news about the ruins. Hawkins looked up, his expression intent. What did you find, Jana? Janna, we found evidence of recent human activity in the ruins, footprints and food wrappers. This means there may be other survivors on this planet. Hawkins nodded, his eyes shining with hope. That's great news. We need to find them as quickly as possible. Janna hesitated for a moment, her expression dark. 
Yes, but there is more. Deep in the ruins, we found a door sealed with alien inscriptions. We haven't been able to decipher them yet, but we have heard strange sounds from the other side. Hawkins frowned, his mind working quickly. Strange sounds? That's worrying. Do you think there could be any danger? Jana nodded, her voice deep. It's a possibility. Captain, we need to be careful when exploring this door. We don't know what could be waiting for us on the other side. Hawkins was silent for a few moments, his gaze distant. Finally, he faced Jana, his determination evident. So that's what we're going to find out. Organize an elite team to explore that door. I want to know what's hidden inside, even if it means facing some danger. Jana nodded, her confidence renewed by Hawkins' resolve. Understood. Captain, I will select the best men and women for this mission. We will leave nothing behind. Hawkins placed a hand on Jana's shoulder, his eyes shining with approval. Great work, Jana. Keep me posted on any developments. Jana smiled slightly and walked away to organize the next expedition, leaving Hawkins alone with his thoughts. The captain surveyed the camp, his mind working to anticipate the challenges that awaited his team. The elite team led by Jana positioned themselves in front of the sealed door, their eyes alert for any movement or sign of danger. Zara, the alien observer, examined the alien symbols with concentration. I cannot yet fully decipher these inscriptions, but it appears that the door was designed to be opened only by those with the appropriate knowledge. Jana nodded, her expression determined. Then we're going to have to find a way to unlock it. We can't go back without knowing what's on the other side. She turned to the team, her voice firm. Get ready. We're going to open this door, with or without the key. The team members nodded silently, their faces drawn with tension. Slowly, they began working on the door, using engineering tools and techniques to force it open. After hours of effort, the door finally gave way, revealing a dark and ominous hallway. Jana's team advanced cautiously, their weapons ready for any threat. As they turned a corner, they came across a surprising scene. A group of humans, dressed in simple clothes and equipped with primitive weapons, stared at them suspiciously. A man of imposing build, with gray hair and piercing eyes, stepped forward. Who are you and how did you get here? Janna raised a hand in a sign of peace, her voice calm. I am Commander Janna, of the Valiant Ship. We have crash-landed on the surface of this planet and are exploring the ruins in search of survivors. The man narrowed his eyes, his expression suspicious. Survivors, you say? So you're not part of the project that abandoned us here. Hawkins, who had accompanied the team, stepped forward, his face etched with compassion. Project? What are you talking about? We are not aware of any project that has abandoned people on this planet. The man stared at Hawkins for a long moment, before finally relaxing his stance. Then you are not part of them. Very well, follow me. I will lead you to our settlement. Janna and Hawkins exchanged a relieved look, following the man and his people through the dark hallways. The group arrived at a vast underground complex, lit by bright lights and buzzing with activity. Men, women and children came and went, busy with daily tasks. The man turned to Hawkins and Janna, his expression grave. Welcome to our home, the refuge. We, the colonists, are the descendants of a secret military project that sent us to this planet decades ago, with the hope that we could adapt and survive. Hawkins frowned, his mind working quickly. A military project? So you were abandoned here? The man nodded, his voice thick with bitterness. Yes, our ancestors were selected for their genetic abilities, modified to survive in this harsh environment. But when Earth lost contact with us, they forgot us. Jana watched the scene with wide eyes, her compassion evident. This is terrible. Were you left here to die? The man raised a hand, his expression determined. No, we survived. We adapted and built this underground home. We learned to thrive on this planet, even if at great cost. Hawkins placed a hand on the man's shoulder, his eyes shining with understanding. Then you are the true survivors of this world. We are honored to meet you. The man nodded, his expression softening slightly. And we are honored to welcome you. Come, I will show you our home. Hawkins and Janna followed the man through the underground complex, 
marveling at the colonists' ingenuity and organization. They passed through cultivation areas, air and water purification systems, and even a military training area. Zara, who accompanied the group, watched everything with fascination. Impressive. You built all of this with limited resources and in such a hostile environment. Your ability to adapt is truly remarkable. The man nodded, his chest swelling with pride. Yes, we had to learn to survive and thrive on our own. Our genetic abilities helped us, but it was the determination of our people that kept us alive. Hawkins watched everything in awe, his mind working quickly. So you have special abilities. That must have been crucial to your survival on this planet. The man hesitated for a moment, his expression becoming more cautious. Yes, we possess certain abilities, but they are not something we like to discuss with strangers. Jana noticed the man's reluctance and decided to change the subject. We understand. But tell us, how did you manage to maintain hope and determination for so long, isolated like this? The man smiled slightly, his eyes shining with a mixture of pride and sadness. It wasn't easy. Many of our ancestors didn't survive. But those who remained did so with a determination to build a future for our people. This is our home now. Hawkins nodded, his expression grave. I understand. You are true survivors, Ezra. We are honored to meet you. Ezra reached out to Hawkins, his grip firm. And we are honored to welcome them. Maybe we can learn from each other. Hawkins shook Ezra's hand, a smile appearing on his face. Yes, maybe we can. As Hawkins and his team explored the refuge, Janna noticed a restricted area, protected by reinforced doors and armed guards. Janna approached Ezra, her curiosity evident. Ezra, what's in that restricted area? Ezra hesitated for a moment, his eyes flashing warily. That's an area that not even we settlers are allowed to enter. It contains technology and information that was left behind by our ancestors. Hawkins approached, his expression intrigued. Technology? Information? What are you talking about, Ezra? Ezra sighed, his expression turning dark. There are many secrets about the project that sent us here. Secrets that not even we fully understand. That area holds some of the answers we seek. Janna and Hawkins exchanged a worried look, aware that there was much more to be discovered about the colonists' past. Hawkins, so there are more mysteries to be unraveled. Ezra, would you help us understand this story better? Ezra nodded, his expression determined. Yes, Captain Hawkins. I think the time has come for us to reveal some of these secrets. Suspense hung in the air as Ezra prepared to share more information about the colonists' dark past and the project that sent them to that planet. The atmosphere in the colonists' underground complex was tense as Hawkins, Janna, Ezra, and the alien observers gathered to discuss the future. Zara, the leader of the alien delegation, looked at Ezra with a serious expression. So, Ezra, you claim that your people possess special genetic abilities. This concerns us deeply. Such modifications could pose a threat to the galactic community. Ezra remained calm, his voice steady. I understand your concerns, Zara, but we are not a threat. Our abilities helped us survive on this inhospitable planet, nothing more. Hawkins raised a hand, trying to calm the mood. Maybe we can find a way to work together to ensure everyone's safety. After all, you colonists and we at Valiant have the same goal, to survive on this planet. Zara frowned, her expression still suspicious. Captain Hawkins, I understand your position, but we cannot ignore the risks. These genetic modifications can have unpredictable consequences. Janna intervened, her voice calm and rational. Zara, we also have concerns about the long-term implications. But we can't just ignore the colonists. They are human, like us, and deserve a chance. Silence fell in the room, as the alien observers exchanged worried glances. Hawkins took a deep breath, trying to find the right words. Look, I know there's a lot at stake here. But I believe if we work together, we can find a solution that benefits everyone. Ezra nodded, his expression determined. Captain Hawkins is right. We colonists don't want to cause trouble. We just want to live in peace and continue to prosper on this planet. Zara seemed to ponder Ezra's words, her expression softening slightly. 
I understand your position, Ezra. But the Galactic Council has a responsibility to ensure the safety of the entire community. We cannot simply ignore the risks. Hawkins placed a hand on Zara's shoulder, his gaze sincere. Zara, I know you are just doing your duty. But I believe that if we come together, we can find a solution that addresses everyone's concerns. Zara hesitated for a moment, before reluctantly nodding. Very well, Captain. We will try to find a way forward. But know that the Galactic Council will be keeping an eye on any developments. Hawkins smiled slightly, relieved that he had managed, at least for now, to calm the tensions. After the meeting, Hawkins and Janna accompanied Ezra on a tour of the colonists' underground complex. They observed with fascination the ingenuity and organization of that environment. Suddenly, an explosion echoed through the hallway, followed by screams. Hawkins and Janna drew their weapons, running toward the source of the incident. Upon arriving at the location, they found a group of colonists fighting an alien creature, apparently escaped from a restricted area. Ezra approached, his face etched with concern. I don't know how that thing escaped. It came from the restricted area I mentioned before. Hawkins and Janna took position, helping the colonists contain the threat. After an intense fight, they finally managed to neutralize the creature. Janna turned to Ezra, her expression serious. Ezra, what the hell is going on here? What else are you hiding? Ezra lowered his head, his voice thick with guilt. I, I don't have all the answers. But now I see that we can no longer keep these secrets. We need your help, Captain Hawkins. Hawkins nodded, his determination evident. So that's what we're going to do. Let's find out together what's happening on this planet. After the incident, Hawkins and Janna reunited with Zara and the alien observers, their faces etched with concern. Zara stared at Hawkins, her expression stern. Captain, what is going on here? First, we discovered that these colonists have modified genetic abilities, and now an alien creature has escaped from their compound. This confirms our worst suspicions. Hawkins raised a hand, seeking to calm Zara. Zara, I understand your concerns, but we can't just condemn the colonists. They need our help to understand what is happening. Janna positioned herself next to Hawkins, her voice steady. Furthermore, this creature could pose a threat to all of us, not just the colonists. We need to work together to discover the source of this problem. Zara seemed to hesitate, her expression still suspicious. You have a point. But the Galactic Council will not tolerate any more unpleasant surprises. We need answers, and fast. Hawkins nodded, his determination evident. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to work with the colonists to find out the truth about this planet and what's going on here. Janna and Zara exchanged a tense look, aware that negotiations and cooperation would be crucial to avoid a direct confrontation. The future of that mission and the relationships between humans, colonists, and alien observers hung in the air as they prepared to face the mysteries and dangers that awaited in the underground complex. Hawkins and his team accompanied Ezra on a more in-depth inspection of the colonists' facilities, seeking to better understand the technology and secrets of that underground complex. When they reached a restricted area, protected by heavy security doors, Hawkins frowned, his curiosity evident. Ezra, what exactly is in this area? You mentioned that it contains advanced technology left by your ancestors. Ezra hesitated for a moment, his expression turning grim. Yes, Captain. This is the area that not even we colonists are fully allowed to access. It contains the terraforming technology that has allowed us to survive and thrive on this planet. Janna's eyes widened, her mind working quickly. Terraforming technology? Does that mean you have the ability to modify this planet's environment? Ezra nodded, his voice deep. Exactly. Our ancestors developed this technology to make this planet habitable. It is the reason we are able to survive here. Hawkins exchanged a worried look with Janna, aware of the implications of that revelation. I understand. But this is an extremely powerful technology. We need to better understand how it works and how you use it. Ezra sighed, his expression reflecting the weight of that responsibility. I know, Captain. This technology is a heavy burden on my people. But it is what keeps us alive on this inhospitable planet. Following the discovery of terraforming technology, 
Hawkins called an urgent meeting with Zara and the alien watchers. Zara stared at Hawkins, her expression grave. So that's it, Captain? These colonists have the ability to modify the environment of this planet at will? This is extremely worrying. Hawkins raised a hand, trying to calm the mood. Zara, I understand your concerns. But we need to better understand how this technology works and how the colonists use it. Jonna positioned herself next to Hawkins, her voice steady. This technology can be a powerful tool for their survival. We cannot simply ignore it or try to take it from them. Zara frowned, her expression suspicious. We cannot ignore the risks, Jana. This technology could be used irresponsibly and cause irreparable harm. The Galactic Council cannot allow this. Hawkins took a deep breath, trying to find the right words. Zara, I understand your concerns. But I believe that if we work together with the colonists, we can find a way to use this technology responsibly and safely. Zara seemed to ponder Hawkins' words, her expression still tense. Very well, Captain. We will try to talk to the colonists again. But know that the Galactic Council is keeping an eye on this situation. After meeting with the alien observers, Hawkins sought out Ezra for a heart-to-heart. -heart. Ezra, I need to better understand this terraforming technology. Its uses and implications are crucial in determining our next steps. Ezra sighed, his face etched with worry. I know, Captain. This technology is a heavy burden on my people. It has allowed us to survive, but it has also put us in a delicate position. Hawkins placed a hand on Ezra's shoulder, his expression understanding. I understand, Ezra, but I need to know how you use it. The Galactic Council is concerned about the risks it may pose. Ezra looked away, his voice thick with tension. We use it cautiously, Captain, only to maintain the habitability of this planet and ensure the survival of my people. We have no intention of using it in any harmful way. Hawkins nodded, his expression grave. I believe you, Ezra but I need to convince the Galactic Council of this. They are worried about the potential for this technology to fall into the wrong hands. Ezra stared at Hawkins, his determination evident. Captain, my people have fought for generations to survive on this planet. We will not give up this technology. It is essential to our future. Hawkins sighed, aware of the delicate situation. I understand, Ezra, but we need to find a solution that addresses everyone's concerns Otherwise, I fear the Galactic Council may take drastic action. Ezra nodded, his expression grim. Then we will have to fight to protect our home. Captain, we cannot allow this technology to be taken away from us. While Hawkins and Ezra debated the situation, Zara quietly withdrew to establish secret contact with the Galactic Council. Galactic Council, this is Commander Zara. I have troubling information regarding terraforming technology discovered on planet XK-27. A deep voice echoed through the communicator. Commander Zara, we're listening. What have you learned about this technology? Zara, the colonists of this planet have the ability to modify the environment at will. This poses an unacceptable risk to the stability of the galactic community. There was a pause before the council responded. We understand your concerns, Commander. We will take the necessary measures to ensure everyone's safety. Zara nodded, her expression determined. Very well. Keep me posted on next steps. Zara, out. She turned off the communicator, her gaze reflecting the tension that hung in the air. Back at the colonist compound, Hawkins and Ezra stared at each other, the tension palpable between them. Ezra. Captain, we cannot allow the Galactic Council to take our technology. It is essential to the survival of my people. Hawkins sighed, his expression grave. I understand, Ezra. But I need to convince the Council that you do not pose a threat. Otherwise, I fear they may take drastic action. Ezra narrowed his eyes, his voice firm. Then we will fight, Captain. We will not give up what we have achieved with so much sacrifice. At that moment, Zara and the alien observers approached, their expressions determined. Zara. Captain Hawkins, Ezra, the Galactic Council has made its decision. You will have to hand over the terraforming technology immediately. Suspense hung in the air as Hawkins and Ezra faced each other, aware that an imminent confrontation could change the fate of that planet 
and everyone involved. The sky of XK-27 was dominated by the glow of alien ships as the Galactic Council fleet arrived at the planet. Hawkins watched the scene with apprehension, aware of the weight of the situation. Janna approached, her expression reflecting tension. Captain, the Galactic Council fleet has just entered orbit. Zara and the other observers are preparing to meet with us. Hawkins nodded, his mind working quickly. I understand. Gather the team and colonist leaders. We need to be ready to face the Council. Janna placed a hand on Hawkins' shoulder, her expression understanding. You can do this, Captain. I know you will find a solution to this situation. Hawkins smiled slightly, his determination evident. Let's hope so, Janna. The future of this planet and all of us depends on it. Hawkins, Ezra, and the colonist leaders met with members of the Galactic Council in a designated area. Zara positioned herself in front, her expression serious. Captain Hawkins, Ezra. The Galactic Council is here to assess the situation and determine the future of this planet and its people. Ezra stepped forward, his voice firm. Galactic Council, we, the colonists, are ready to demonstrate our terraforming technology and prove that we do not pose a threat. One of the alien council members frowned, his voice deep. That's very convenient, Ezra. But we need to see this technology in action before we make any decisions. Hawkins raised a hand, trying to calm the mood. Counselor, I ask that you give us the opportunity to showcase the potential of this technology. I believe that if we work together, we can find a solution that benefits everyone. Zara stared at Hawkins, her expression still suspicious. Very well, Captain. But know that the Galactic Council is watching your and the colonists every step. Under the watchful supervision of the Galactic Council, Ezra and his team of colonists activated the terraforming systems. Slowly, the planet's hostile environment began to transform. The dark rocks gave way to lush green vegetation, while the toxic atmosphere was purified. The alien observers watched the scene with wide eyes, their suspicion giving way to fascination. Zara approached Hawkins, her expression reflecting surprise. Captain, this is... impressive. This technology is capable of completely transforming the environment of this planet. Hawkins nodded, his gaze fixed on the demonstration. Yes, Zara. The colonists developed this ability to survive in this inhospitable world. Now, I hope the Council can see the value of this technology and its people. Zara was silent for a few moments, her mind working quickly. I understand, Captain. I will take this information to the Council. Perhaps we can find a way to work together. After the demonstration, members of the Galactic Council met to discuss the future of the planet XK-27 and its colonists. Zara presented her report, her expression reflecting the complexity of the situation. Advisors, the colonists' terraforming technology is indeed impressive. It has the potential to transform inhospitable planets into habitable worlds. One of the alien advisors frowned, his voice deep. So you suggest we accept these colonists into our community? They still pose an unknown risk. Zara raised a hand, trying to calm the counselor. I'm not suggesting that, counselor. But I believe that if we work with them, we can find a way to use this technology responsibly and safely. Another alien advisor spoke up, his expression thoughtful. Hmm, perhaps this technology could be useful in expanding the galactic community but we need to ensure that it is not used in harmful ways. Zara nodded, her voice firm. Exactly. I propose that we establish a conditional alliance with the colonists, with strict oversight and controls over the use of terraforming technology. The counselors exchanged glances, before finally nodding. Very well, Commander Zara. We will inform Captain Hawkins and the colonists of our decision. Hawkins, Ezra, and the colonist leaders anxiously awaited the Galactic Council's decision. When Zara approached, her expression was wary but not hostile. Captain Hawkins, Ezra, the Galactic Council has reached a decision. Hawkins and Ezra exchanged a tense look, waiting for the sentence. After evaluating the demonstration of terraforming technology, the Council decided to establish a conditional alliance with the colonists. Ezra let out a sigh of relief his shoulders relaxing. So you accept our technology? Can we continue to prosper on this planet? 
Zara raised a hand, her expression still serious. Yes, but with conditions. There will be strict supervision by the Galactic Council over the use of this technology. Any misconduct will result in severe consequences. Hawkins placed a hand on Ezra's shoulder, his expression reflecting wariness. We understand, Zara. We will work together to ensure this technology is used responsibly and safely. Zara nodded, her expression softening slightly. Very well, Captain. I hope this alliance is the beginning of fruitful cooperation between us. As Hawkins and Ezra shook hands, sealing the deal, the future of that planet and its inhabitants still seemed uncertain. Tensions and mistrust had not completely disappeared, and the Galactic Council would keep a close eye on the colonists and their terraforming technology. Suspense hung in the air as Hawkins and his team prepared to face the challenges that still awaited them on that distant world.